everybody, Kimberly here. I just did a Happy Mail opening package, and here's my goodies. But I also wanted to come back on and do Mia's tag, Would You Rather? Come and play along. So I'm coming to play along. Anyway, I hope everybody's having a great day today. It's Friday, and everybody's gearing up for a good weekend. I'm excited about the weekend. been a very busy day today, but I've gotten a lot done. But I really want to do this tag. It was a lot of fun. Um, the questions were really fun. So, um, number one is somebody wants to buy you your favorite, buy your favorite doll and has offered you four times what you originally paid for it. Would you rather take the money or keep the baby? Well, of all my babies in my collection, the only one that I have paid for is Jean Biev. The rest I've painted, so I will use her because, again, she's the only one I've actually spent money on. Um... Somebody offered me four times. No, I would not take the money. Number one, the artist Letha and I have become very good friends. And so there's an emotional connection with Letha. And I would never, never want to, to, th this is like having a little bit of Letha in my house. Because as an artist now, you know, you put a little bit of yourself into each baby you create. So She's not just the doll anymore. She represents my friendship with Letha. And so I would not take a penny for her. Matter of fact, I was offered somebody at the doll show wanted to purchase her and asked me if I would take anything for her. Like basically, no matter how high they went, I wouldn't sell her. And I said, absolutely not. Um, so there's a lot of great memories um, of Letha with her. And so, no, I would not sell her. Um, number two, would you rather have dinner with a famous personality that you've admired forever or have a sought after baby created for you from the hands of your favorite, favorite artist for free? Hmm. Now this is really hard because I'm not a celebrity person. And so, I mean, I, I admire certain actors and actresses, but I'm not starstruck. The famous people that I would like to meet, most of them are no longer living. People that have lived in my lifetime that had I been given the opportunity I would have liked to have met are people like Nelson Mandela, Mother Teresa. The one that's still living that I would love to meet is the Dalai Lama. So my choice is between the Dalai Lama and a Romy Stridum baby. And Romy Stridum, again, as I mentioned in my um, video from the doll show, I was a little trepidatious about seeing her work in person because... Again, so much work doesn't look like what you see in the pictures. And I was, again, blown away by her work. But moreover than that, it's her as a person. She has such integrity. She is so lovely to talk to. Um, so to have a piece of her work in my house, I would be honored to. But I would also love to meet the Dalai Lama. I'm all about memories. I believe everybody has a story and everybody's story is worth hearing. And I would love to know his story from him because he's somebody who didn't really get to choose his life. And so he's very childlike, but he, he says some amazing things. So I think for me it's about the memories and both, but I think I would rather meet the Dalai Lama and save to buy a Romy Stridum doll. So for me, I would have dinner with Dalai Lama. Um, number three, would you rather win a $500 gift certificate to your favorite home goods store, home goods decorating store, or Babies R Us? I will choose, for me, it would be a home decorating store. Um, for me, that's places like Home Goods or Bed Bath & Beyond. Those are places I love to shop at. I don't really shop at Babies R Us. Um, I've gone in there a handful of times and I've never really come out with much. So it would probably take me a really long time to spend $500 at Babies R Us. So I would say a home goods store. Thank you so much, Mia. This was so much fun. And I have not watched videos since I've been left my house this morning. So I don't know who's done this tag. Um, but in the event that they haven't, and when you're feeling better, Nicole, I would love for you to do this tag. Um, I would love to see Debbie of Reborn Blessed and April of Toto Kisses and uh, Graphic Unicorn. I just forgot your name. I would love for you to do this tag. And Gloria 
would love for Gloria to do this tag. Um, I'm trying to think. Sorry. I, there's so many people out there. I can't think of all your names right now. So um, anybody who hasn't done the tag and wants to, please do so. Thank you so much, Mia. This was so much fun. And I hope everybody has a lovely, lovely weekend. And God bless each and every one of you. And keep praying for Nicole. She is doing better. Um, but she still needs our prayers. So hugs, love, and blessings to all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.